Conley at Belmont University, and I am a proud pencil partner. Today, I will be reading to you, Daisy Nuzzlehead Paints Everything. This is Daisy Nuzzlehead. Wait, there's no one here. Where did Daisy Nuzzlehead go? If you can't find Daisy Nuzzlehead, you can usually just follow the trail of paint. See, there she is, up in that palm tree, getting ready to paint something. Daisy Nuzzlehead loves, loves, loves to paint. But there are two very strange things about the way Daisy Nuzzlehead paints. Number one, she doesn't paint with a brush. Instead, Daisy Nuzzlehead paints with her weird hair. Number two, she doesn't paint houses or fences. Instead, Daisy Nuzzlehead paints her friends. Finally, her friends had to say, Daisy Nuzzlehead, stop painting all over us. Barry Pinkwad said, Daisy, instead of painting your friends, you should paint the island. Daisy thought about that for a moment. She decided she adored that idea. Daisy Nuzzlehead dipped her brushy hair into her big bucket of paint and ran off. And what did she do? She painted the entire island. She splashed the coconuts with splotches of pink and yellow until they looked like hanging dinosaur eggs. She dumped buckets of bright gold paint down Wilma Wigster's slide until it sparkled in the sun. And after that, with Gonk's help, she painted every last pineapple a different color. She splashed orange paint across the very tip of top of Hotso's huge fireproof sandcastle. And after that, she climbed the sails of Captain Bucklewash's pirate ship and covered the jolly good time in red pirate polka dots. She bounced around Brainy Blueberry's hot air balloon and covered it with color until it looked like a checkerboard. And after that, she painted Felix Fuzzlerod's yellow submarine so blue that it almost disappeared in the water. She painted the seahorses silver and the lobsters green and the starfish blue. And after that, she kept going. Daisy Nuzzlehead painted the plants purple and the sand silver and the beaches blue. When the day was done, Daisy Nuzzlehead had painted everything. She had never been so happy in her life. But there was a thunderstorm on the horizon. That night, it rained. It rained, and it poured, and it showered, and giant drops of water pounded away at all the things Daisy Nuzzlehead had worked so hard to paint. The next morning, Barry Pinkwad saw that the rain had completely washed away all of the colorful paint. All of Daisy Nuzzlehead's pink and yellow and gold and blue and green and red and orange and silver and purple paint was gone. Barry Pinkwad said, Oh, no. Daisy will be so sad. Daisy Nuzzlehead's friends thought she would be very upset when she saw what the rain had done. But when Daisy Nuzzlehead stepped outside, she wasn't upset at all. In fact, she smiled. She smiled big and huge and large and said, It's okay. Now the island is like a big blank sheet of paper, and I get to paint it all over again. And she did. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and keep working those brains.